<clears throat> what up guys so we are going to be playing for number one on the hardcore ladder we are currently sitting at number two at 1547 elo so if we win one more we will be in first place um so let's go over the deck real quick so i am playing pride lands yellow steel amber steel so if you look here we got 16 one drops we got cinderella queen robin hood simba and then we have ariel rapunzel queen the queen commanding presence so this can shift into this robin hood can shift into this we got two big cinderellas we have one chernabog one world's greatest criminal, three bare necessities, four let the, let the storm rage on, four strength of a raging fire, four, and then came along, and then along came Zeus, a whole new world, grab your sword, and four pride lands. So this is the deck I've been grinding with. So let's jump into match for number one I am quite excited so <clears throat> for those of you guys that have been wondering why I've been playing pride lands over uh, flutes it's because basically once I won the tournament with flutes then people started adjusting for uh, for flutes and also the mirror ma match became a thing. Beforehand, you would play a mirror match and it wouldn't exactly be the mirror. I would say Brennan DeCandio's version with lanterns was a lot more popular. And so I would generally get paired against that. But when you have flutes and they don't, it was generally an easier matchup. And so I didn't really need to dedicate any slots to it. But once I won the tournament, I was playing three Benjas. And then all of a sudden, the mirror match is kind of like a coin flip. Whoever wins the die roll wins, wins the match. And so <clears throat> I thought to myself, okay, how do I handle that? And so I had been working on a Pride Lens version earlier and knew that you know it's in the same slot as benja would be and basically pride lens um dodges benja and the item removal and gives you a really strong start against blue red so that's why i switched all right let's take a look at our hand we're on the play that's pretty good i'm going to get rid of and then along came zeus i think i'm gonna get rid of a Rapunzel. I could keep the Let the Storm, but I'm going to let it go. I'm going to keep something like this. Have a solid curve. Did not want to see a second one of those, but it is fine. We'll go let the strength go. We'll play our queen on one. And then let's see where we, where we end up. It looks like purple red. Another queen would have been a great draw. We'll get rid of this Rapunzel. And I will play this Pride Lands. If they would like to trade, I think I would be happy with the trade. So I'm going to go ahead and quest. So they decide to attack. And it looks like they're probably going to bounce here. Cool. Great draw. We'll go ahead and get rid of it. 
go ahead and play our aerial. We'll go ahead and take this strength. And then we just have to pass here. So in this spot, they're likely to quest and play Madame M, Fox, and deal with our Pride Lands. Oh, okay. Similar play. Oh. I need to start using these, but so if we were to do queen, quest with queen, attack the madam mem, then the Merlin gets to eat the queen or the Ariel. Unfortunately, I think this is the right play. It could also be just like cast both of these. And that could be the play. Okay. Glad we got that off in time. They can play Fox here and trade with our queen. That puts us in a weird situation. We're really looking for aerials or whole new worlds at this point. Yep. Okay, hopefully we find a whole new world and let's see where we go from there. Okay, um, well, let go of the strength, play a, a Robin Hood and pass. A whole new world is st still a really fantastic draw here. We still have the clock, but without a whole new world, we are in a bit of trouble. They have another fox here. It's a little annoying. Okay. No fox. That means Prylands gets to stick around. Hmm. Sure. Perfect draw. Here's the question. Do I just play the Robin Hood? I think the answer is yes. So I'm just going to play it. And then we'll cast a whole new world. I think that we still need this Rapunzel. Because we don't have... Well, we do have another whole new world. But... While having two Robin Hoods out, I feel more comfortable in that direction, and the Simba might bait. Me getting rid of something else. So, 
think that I need to let this let the storm rage on go. Yeah. And go in this direction. See how this goes. I think I'm going to hold on for a bit. So attack here. Yeah. And then Rapunzel. Now let the world's greatest criminal <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna let the world's greatest criminal go and there's just strength here. And then I'll pass. And I could set up the Simba to play these two for free and shift this. And if my Robin Hood survives, which I doubt it will, then I could basically play my entire hand, sing this, sing this and end up getting the max value or if they end up wiping the field then we end up having another strategy okay we'll draw a card here okay that helps us deal with what's going on cool So I'll start off by singing this to get rid of this. Then I can play this to do this. Then these two are free. And I guess I let this go because it's still going to cost me four. So let this go. Get rid of this. And if this survives, then we can go, we can shift the queen and hold the world. Cool beans. All right, so we'll get rid of the bear. Put this on one. Hmm. So I could go to 12. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think I should just hard cast this.
really don't want to lose the pride lands. I think that I I'm going to pass. I try to set it up in a way that pushes them to be prepared but okay that's less good so we're going to at least 14 here or maybe not I let the Simba go because I can hook up the Robin Hood to Pride Lands and get rid of these two. And obviously that goes away as well. Okay, that's a interesting draw. Oh, I think I still want to run the same thing back. So, boom. Hook this up. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. All right, now I'm asking them to get rid of a lot of stuff. Sure. So going to 14 here. Go ahead and play this, play this. Try and think whether or not I want to. Don't think I want to. So if here they decide to attack the Maui here with the Chernobog followers here then they're probably going to be prepared. But then I can play 10 ink worth of stuff if I want to. Oh, whoa.
So I think I definitely start off here. Get rid of this. And I'll do this. All right, on to game two. Hmm. Solid hand. Get rid of this. I'll get rid of this. I'll keep the rest. Nice. Hmm. All right, that's got to go. I'll play the queen. Because if I quest with the queen, I won't feel bad about losing it. this and I will play the Robin Hood and I will quest if they end up questing and then playing Madam M Fox and hitting the Queen that's cool because then I can play my Robin Hood and eat it So now we get rid of the queen. We'll use the Robin Hood to sing this. And if they do the same thing, cool. Same reasoning. So if they quest and play the fox, it's cool with me. All right, so we'll go ahead and cast this cool with us we're thinking that they probably play Maui to eat this but then we can use the queen to get rid of it ink the strength quest pass The worst thing that can happen is ink Maui, and we have a plan for that. Cool. So we get to draw off of this. Cool beans. Okay, we're drawing well, so we may. Okay, I guess we just. Do this then. Get rid of the Cinderella and pass. 
could have played the Cinderella. That was not the worst option. Okay, here's a Madame Mim. I guess it's going to take out an Ariel. Cool with me. Cool beans. So we'll start off by playing our Ariel. We'll draw this. Go ahead and get rid of that. We'll go ahead and play this. And then we'll whole new world. And then we'll quest. Go to five. Hmm. We'll lose the queen. Hmm. Interesting position that we're in. I think I want to start off here, see what's going on in their hand. A little bit of nothing. Okay, we'll play some bow. See what else we can do. We'll pass here. They don't have a good way to deal with our board just yet, so I want to make sure I stack it. Like, we can force like a stalemate here but still deploy way more on the board sure I guess I play this. I guess I hook this up. Play this. We bricked. Mm. Go to a high number. And then pass. Hmm.
So in order for them to get rid of pride lands, they have to attack everything at pride lands. Oh, that changes it up. There goes Rapunzel. Cool. Okay, so I can take a Rafiki. So I use this aerial to take out the Lady Tremaine. That lets me draw a bunch. Start off there. <laughs> so then we can get rid of this. They're in a lot of trouble if they don't draw a be prepared. Cool. That means they most likely don't have the be prepared if they are attacking my Simba. Cinderella go. This will put us at 12, 16. I think I should take this out. So I go to sixteen.
They can get rid of my board pretty easily. But, oof, that was really good. Because that was going to take two cards to get rid of. Now they can get go to ten. I think I have to kill this. I think I have to just ink this and go ahead and do this. Just set myself up for next turn. Think of a way out of this. Yeah, we are going to the next game. I feel like I could have won that one. Maybe I should have just played the queen there and hope they didn't have an answer for it but I felt like if bounce gave them too many extra card plus bounce gave them too many outs okay so in this situation I will get rid of this 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 and this maximizing my chances of hitting this and pairing it with whole new world okay let's see what we hit Alright, we'll start off here, here. Hitting another one of these is not good. Okay, great. Perfect. Go ahead and get rid of that. It's 
not worth doing this because if we hit an uninkable puts us in a really bad situation Yeah, we'll go ahead and do this now. We'll go ahead and use one of these, see what's going on. Maui, Merlin, Maleficent, Cusco, Merlin Rabbit. Okay. Pass. Go ahead and cast the Simba. I don't think I need the bear. And we'll go ahead and use this. And then we'll try and end this game as quickly as possible. So we have four, five, six, possibly seven. We'll get in for the full seven here. Here is most likely Ink Maui. Get rid of this and get rid of another Duder. So we'll attack here, they'll draw a card. We can then draw two. trying to think if it's better for both of these to save my Robin Hood because even if I don't have the six if let's say they go Madame Medusa next turn puts us in a really bad position yeah Go ahead and get rid of this. And then I'll get rid of the Cinderella and 
play the queen. Because if they have Madame Medusa, they play it, they hit the Robin Hood, and then they still get to get rid of a one drop, and I'm at 11. Not a great spot. Start off with Ariel. Whole new world. Okay. Check their hand. Then we can get rid of this, cause I feel like if we just if we hit the be prepared there, it takes away their entire plan. is going to be an issue I'm down to whole new world here I want to get rid of this Happy to play the Simba. Get rid of that. Play this. Equip this. Alright, they hit another Maui, that's fine. Okay. What we can do is... Go ahead and deal two damage there. I'll go ahead and ink that. Play this quest and pass. Solid. Start off here. I think I'll let that go. Play this and I'll continue the quest. How many Maui's have we gone through? One, two, three. So one more possible. It's 
So we're going to 17 here. Get rid of that. Play another queen. Go to seventeen. And pass. Because if if they needed to be prepared there, they would they could take out the pride lands and be prepared. And by eliminating the Madame Mim, it's a lot less chance of them being able to take care of the pride lands. I'm still showing lethal here. And we got it. And we did it. 15, 54. Where does that put us? Number one. Hell yeah. That's how you do it. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.